Hi, this is a first look at my digital collectible card game Memory Quest and after showing you the credits you can see that there are 8 difficulty levels I will start with the most easy one to show you the game Right now there are uh, 4 card sets to choose from there will be many many more at least 20 uh, and just let's just start a game and the game is about selecting the right character cards to get the right amount of magic uh, power and defense and also the right skills as you can see there are different colors there are four different factions in the game this one is called the darkling faction the first ones are called earthbound the green and uh, when you start the game it's not entirely randomly shuffled each column contains a faction as you can see this is, this was the enlightened faction now you can see the renegade faction and here are the darkling <laughs> faction cards but as you can see i already finished a couple of quests quite easily but now i need a special skill of honor and i had to look for the right card so the game is about memory you need to memorize where your cards are the demon in this card set has a curse <laughs> that means you lose an extra attempt when you choose it but it's good for this quest speaking of demons the demon slayer skill means that if your quest contains the word demon you get a power bonus a horn sound means you gain an experience level and that gives you extra gold and extra attempts gold you can spend on items to boost your magic power or defense. I'm making a quick jump here to a new card set, set on the next level where the cards are shuffled completely random. Every 10 quests you go to a new level and there's a new music track. Every two levels there's a new card set. This game will be brought out for the iPad. Notice you see a cursor. This is because this was recorded in the iOS simulator. Every new quest you gain three attempts. Notice that the order in which you flip your heroes makes a lot of difference. Some are stronger when you pick them first, some are stronger when you pick them last. And this is a particularly tough quest. I need a bit of extra magic and defense. For the defense I could pick the shield, but there is always a right combination, so you, you should never need an item. As you can see, I'm having a lot of difficulty slaying the dragon. This is, of course, because of my lousy playing. All you would need is three attempts. More on the experience points. Any surplus you have in magic power or defense, so you have more than was asked, is added to your experience points. I'll give you a quick look at the rules of the game here and also uh, the skills are explained and then we'll make a quick jump to the game within the game, a mini game which is the classic memory. Memory Quest is a solitaire game so whether you choose the normal memory quest or the classic memory game like this, you play against a computer and if you play the classic memory well you can play as long as you like it's mostly meant for relaxation and well, every time you clear the world you get uh, new card entirely new cards randomly shuffled cards can be mixed from various sets as long as you own them uh, when you buy this game you get the first two sets included i composed and produced all the music in the game myself i use program called Fruity Loops for this. As you can see I'm actually making quite a number of mistakes but because the difficulty is set on easy and I also received attempts from the previous levels that I had left, I was still have plenty of attempts. If you play the regular game Memory Quest on a difficulty setting normal or higher you can win trophies and trophies are New cards, actually existing cards, but with new artwork, alternative images. This game will first be launched via Kickstarter. And if you do uh, buy this game via Kickstarter, you get more value for money. And you get a redeem code that will give you all the current uh, 
card sets and all the future ones for uh, a much better price. The Kickstarter campaign should be in August and the game should be released in the App Store in September.